let's work on part D now. So instead of working at this firm, the workers can work somewhere else and they would get utility V in both periods, derive the wage for which workers are willing to work at this company. How does that depend on raw, the probability that the outsider gets the job? Now, just some highlights over here. This is the effort level that each worker is going to put in when he takes into account this outsider. What we also know is that in equilibrium, they put same same effort level and we found that the probability of getting or was it i think somewhere over here the probability of getting that bonus is one minus zero times 0 0.5 so with all this data in mind we can compute the expected utility right now we would have two wages right because we would get a base wage in every period plus the probability of getting that bonus and we just saw that probability is one minus zero times 0 0.5 and here is our bonus minus the cost of effort hope this all makes sense now with this in mind we must attract the worker meaning that the expected utility and this is expected utility for two periods right we know that he would get a wage for sure in the first period then this is the probability of getting that bonus in the second period and the cost of effort so this is expected utility for two periods for two periods and this must compensate this must be at least as the utilities in a different company which is v per period so two times v okay what do we want we want w we are looking for the fixed wage at this company to attract the worker now because we're looking for w let's take all these terms to the other side we're left with two w's over here and on the other side we would have two times v so we would have two times V minus two times W. Let me change colors for that. We would have minus two times W. Hold on, hold on, what am I doing? Minus this term, I'm sorry. Okay. Minus this term, minus uh, one minus rho times 0 0.5 times Z, plus the other term, plus one over two, plus one over two times theta, times the effort to the power of two. What is the effort level? Is this term. This is the effort level. So let's raise this thing to the power of two. We would have one minus rho to the power of two times p to the power of two times z to the power of two divided by theta to the power of two. Now it's a matter of doing some math over here. So what math can we do? We can cancel out the theta. Theta with theta goes away. And now we can divide both sides by two because we're interested in leaving only wage on one side. So that wage would equal two. Two v divided by two, that's just v minus 1 minus theta multiplied with 0 0.5 divided by 2. 0 0.5 is 1 over 2. 1 over 2 divided by 2 is 1 over 4. So that's going to be that's going to be 1 over 4 times the bonus. And on the other side, on the last term over here, what are we left with? We have plus 1 over 2 divided by 2. That's again 1 over 4 multiplied with this entire thing. And let's write that entire thing. So we would have 1 minus rho to the power 2 times p to the power 2 times z to the power 2 divided by theta. What do we notice here? We're interested in the effect of the raw of the probability of the outsider on the wage. We have raw in this term with a negative coefficient in front of it and we have raw over here with a positive coefficient in front of it. What does that mean? That means that the probability of the outsider getting the job has two effects, has a positive effect on our wage and a negative effect on our wage. How do we interpret these things? It has a positive effect, right? It has a positive effect because what does that mean it has a positive effect? It means we must increase the wage to attract the worker. Why would we have to increase the wage to attract the worker if the probability of the outsider getting the job goes up? Well, if the probability of the outsider goes up, there is less chance for us to get the bonus, meaning the job is becoming less attractive to us, meaning we must be compensated for that. So this is a compensation effect. This is due to compensation. But on the other side, why would we have a negative on the negative effect on the wage? Why would the wage decrease? Why would the wage decrease if this probability of the outsider getting the job increases? Well, that would happen because of the effort effect. Remember, this is the effort effect, the effort level depending on raw. If raw goes up, this term goes down, meaning that the effort level goes down. So if the probability of the outsider, if the probability of the outsider getting the job goes up, we would put in less effort. Let me write the mechanism over here. We would put in less effort because it's not worth to put in that much effort for a bonus that, mu that most likely is going to go to someone else. If we put in less effort, we produce less output, we deserve less money. That's why the company would pay us less. That's the highlight over here. 
So we would have a positive effect, we would have a negative effect. The result would depend which one dominates. Is the positive effect bigger or is the negative effect bigger? And that depends on this probability because if that probability is very, very high, right? If that probability is very, very high intuitively without doing the math, just think about it, means means that the worker is really not going to want to put in more effort because there, he has almost no chance of getting the bonus. And in that case, the company has also no incentive to pay him more because he would not produce more output. So probably this effect would dominate. He would get a lower wage uh, overall. But if that probability is not that high, then the worker would probably still would probably still put in some effort uh, to get to get the job, you know, to get the bonus. So in that case, the company the company might pay him more because he would produce more output. So again, in the end, it depends which effect would dominate. That would depend on this actual number and by solving all this entire math. So the effect over here is unclear. It depends. It's unclear. Hope this all makes sense. In the next video, we go to part uh, E.